Ian from Fathom Nickel, you had an outstanding day yesterday in the markets. Can you talk to us about some of the influencers or just people finally getting the good news about Nickel and Fathom Nickel? Yeah, I know we did. Indeed, we had a fantastic day yesterday. And, and I like to think that there's been a bit of a buildup to what occurred yesterday. Um, you know, I am coming to you live from the, the Albert Lake project. Um, and we will be drilling. We're a little bit behind schedule. We had some uh, strange weather here last week. So that's delayed us a little bit. So, I, you know, I, I think there is some anticipation around this upcoming drill program and specifically the, the very first target. Uh, that we've been talking about for several months now. So let's talk about Albert Lake Project. You're obviously there right now. You just commented that you are. You've just had the start of your winter exploration program. You've raised capital to invest. What's going on with your geophysics tr uh, team? And tell us how the drilling is progressing. Yeah, well, as I said, we're, we're probably three, four days behind. Uh, I'm optimistic that we will have a night shift uh, possibly tonight. If that doesn't work out, we're definitely drilling tomorrow morning. Uh, we do have some follow-up geophysics that we're doing as well. We have a geophysical crew. Uh, they were going to commence the very first grid uh, today. And we're actually following up on an anomaly that uh, is very, very close to two holes that we drilled here last year. Uh, one of the two holes definitely was in the, the favorable stratigraphy and the borehole EM was telling us there was something conductive above and beyond the drill holes. Uh, we potentially see that anomaly in our existing geophysics. So we're just gonna fine tune that again, tighten up the spacings and uh, get a little further definition. And that will be a drill target that we'll be drilling within the next couple of weeks. Uh, we've also got another grid that's focusing on a feature that starts right at the historic Rottenstone mine and continues off to the southwest a distance of three or 400 meters. It's a mag signature that is analogous to the mag signature that we recognize at the Bay Island trend, which is another zone of mineralization 500 meters off to the northwest here. So if we can get a little bit of conductivity associated with that, we're potentially dealing with another Albert Lake-like zone of mineralization. And the fact that it's starting right at Rottenstone, hopefully it will have Rottenstone-like grades. And, and that truly would be a fantastic development. So, yeah, no, I, you know, I think we're, we're plodding along, uh, going about things as methodically as we always do. And uh, looking forward to the results and looking forward to... Uh, drilling several of these targets in the next couple of, couple of three weeks. The Critical Minerals Institute follows all the critical, well, follows nine critical mineral lists worldwide. And of course, nickel is on seven of nine of these lists. Can you tell me just generally what you perceive the nickel market in 2024 to be evolving or transforming? Would you like to comment on that? Yeah, that, that's that's a really good question, Tracy. Um, you know, we all suffered the latter part of 2023. You know, we ourselves were cruising along very, very nicely midsummer and then fall, and then things kind of just dropped. <laughs> and and it wasn't just us. I, I think that was uh, sort of across the board with uh, junior nickel explorers. Um. But you know, some of the buzz around the uh, uh, the roundup in Vancouver, we were there, we had a, a core shack display, we had a lot of interest, a lot of people coming around and looking at our drill core. And and, and some of the commentary, you know, there were some big uh, big names out there, the Rick Rules of the World and the Ross Beatties and whatnot. And there, there's definitely going to be a shift in the coming years to nickel, magmatic nickel, from safe jurisdictions, the laterite deposits, the pig nickel, whatever you wanna call it, that has been flooding the market. Um, and in the process, just environmental disasters in Indonesia and the Philippines. And, and actually Rick Rule commented on this and 
when Rick Rule says he's getting into the nickel, he usually likes to get into things well ahead of the pack. Uh, so I think that's a very, very positive thing as well. And, and yeah, this, this glut that's at the LME, I, I think we'll chew through that. And then, you know, again, if I can comment on the class two type nickel, the laterite deposits, um, you know, we can't be promoting green energy with nickel when we're literally destroying the environment to get the nickel out of the ground. So I think in places like Saskatchewan and in places like Manitoba and safe jurisdictions, magmatic nickel sulfide deposits, um, I think that's going to be in vogue and I think it'll be in vogue very, very soon here. Well, speaking of being in vogue, we've got nickel, critical minerals, Saskatchewan. How many hot buttons can you hit there for flow through? <laughs> So you must have a lot of investors calling you right now. Would that be consistent with your reality, Ian? Yeah, yeah, actually, you know, I, I was uh, I was in LaRange last week. I had uh, a couple of community engagement meetings and uh, my colleague, Doug, uh, he's been answering the phones. Uh, I've had a few phone calls. There's been email inquiries. There's been phone inquiries. And um, yeah, yeah, so I, I really think that... Uh, uh, you know, we, we have a pretty good following and, and I think uh, Doug and I have done a pretty good job of uh, getting our story out there, uh, not only just in Canada, but in the U.S. and abroad. And it's something that we're continuing to strive to do. Um, and and I, yeah, again, I, I just think there's there's been some uh, building interest and everybody gets excited when me included when you're drilling. And uh, so I think that's uh, a lot of the, the current euphoria out there is anticipation of this drilling program. Speaking of that and your drilling program, you are doing an amazing job, I know personally, because I'm watching you on social media and everywhere that you and Doug, of course, have been going. Will you be at PDAC? Uh, definitely, yes. In fact, I booked my flight last night. <laughs> So we, we are uh, going to be attending the, uh, uh, the pre-PDAC Red Cloud event, and then uh, we'll, we'll slide right into the, uh, the PDAC event as well. So for anybody out there trying to set up a meeting with Ian or Doug during PDAC, just send us an email or, of course, send it to Fathom Nickel. I'm certain they would love to accommodate you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Ian, for the update. Thank you very much, Tracy.